Hey, what's happening gamers? It's Amber aka K-Wife here with another episode of Scarf. This is part five. So hopefully everyone's day is going great. Hello, Later Gator, Sharon, Kate, and Tom. Uh, and uh, I think one other person, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. And uh, yeah, Kate, Sharon, Later Gator, and Tom. Awesome. So, and Sammy Bear King. Awesome. Great to see you guys. Hope you guys are having a nice day. And uh, I'm just going to do a, um, a a small stream uh, because we do have a noon video going up. So, yeah. I'm trying to stream a few times a week in the mornings. Uh, different like this and between this and Arkham and maybe some of the other series that I was doing on my own. Uh, start to complete like some of those. Um, so, yeah. So, last time. So, this is a really uh, kind of... I'd say like tricky puzzle game. Um, so last time we were, we were trying to get these lasers to basically stop, um, stop going towards, you know, that area over there because it, the lasers are making a shield. So we were able to get this laser to stop. I think the lever. Oh gosh. Okay. So these levers and everything like that, they. Basically, this laser was kind of pointing right towards here last time I left off, but for some reason, it's not really pointing there anymore. Um, I don't really know um, what happened since last time, but... And um, also, I didn't realize this, but there's some really cool things you can find. Like, th this was kind of a neat ruins area, and I hopped in there and I got, like, a special item. That's, like, a special power-up, so that was kind of cool. Oh, thank you, Sharon. Very sweet. Oh, school starts in a few minutes. We'll have a good day at school later, Gator. And also, um, just these different, uh, this, um, I can't really get up here yet, so I'm gonna have to find an item I can do to get up here. So this game is all about puzzles. And last time we went over here, and this actually opened up, depending if you put this on top of this crystal area, it opens up, um, it opens up, um, a certain doorway, so all kinds of different puzzles and things like that going on. Um, also, as you can see, like, my character is supposed to have a scarf, but he doesn't right now, so uh, a lot of times the, the scarf is actually a dragon, so a lot of times the dragon needs, like, food. Um, if he doesn't get his, like, food, then he is not in the mood to help you. Uh, so when he wants to help you, he becomes a, a, uh, scarf around your neck and he's able to help you a lot better. Yeah, and we've already gone in here, um, but, um, we can always open that back up by taking, um, there was that, uh, rock over there on the... On the little button, we can always take it off, but, um, yeah, we can always go back in there if we need to. Alright, so the main thing is we want to get rid of these lasers, so, um, we're gonna try that. Oh my goodness, and here's an area I have not seen, so maybe we'll try going up here. At least I don't remember seeing this area. Oh, cute, little rocking horse. <coughs> Um, yeah, I, I don't know when we're doing, uh, we have to start the, we have to do an hour of the game before we can start doing the side missions. And we can only do the side missions on this channel. And Luke doesn't have any time to do the hour of the game right now. Because he was up all night working on other games. So, um... I joked around that I could have, like, recorded an hour of it. But I don't really know exactly how he needs it recorded. Like, I don't really know exactly what format he wants it recorded in or anything. So, um... You know...
All right, so we just, so this is an area we haven't been to, so that's good. So we just um, brought down that uh, big purple ball down here. And looks like that's all there was really over here was that big purple ball. So I'm starting to understand. So it looks like the purple ball smashed when it went over here. Um, I don't really know what the purpose of that was. That's weird. Alright, so we still need to get over um, to this. Basically, we have to get over to that area. I think we did get rid of... I think that big purple ball was creating one of the lasers that was going this way. You guys will have a noon video going up today, another Sea of Stars episode. So that will be exciting. And today, I believe it's two episodes of um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and one episode, one stream of uh, um, Mewtwo battles with Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, so. All right, so I'm just going to carry this uh, pot around because I don't really know. Uh... Oh, looks like I can't really pick that up. Okay. Oh, here we go. So this is where we're supposed to put this. So a lot of uh, kind of like ancient or like advanced technology with crystals and all this stuff. So that created a cool bridge. So the next thing we're going to try to do is move this over here. Right, so we move that on that button and uh, I guess we'll just keep going and seeing what happens here. So this is the problem. Um, this uh, beam of light is actually causing that shield over that item over there and we want to get rid of the shield, I think. Um, the game doesn't really explain what you're supposed to do really. Um, just kind of have to figure it out. So there's no like if you get lost it doesn't give you an arrow or anything. Uh, so you know, it's a typical, like, indie game. Indie games don't generally, like, hold your hand very, very much. So, if you guys are stuck, you can either watch this video, or you can watch any, or go to a website, or watch anyone you can help you out to try to figure out what to do or you can just try to one do what I do which I'm just wandering around to try to figure it out generally um so far most of the time I've been able to wander around and figure it out there's like one or two times where I got completely stuck
Okay, so we moved it. Um, I'm actually going to try moving it over here. So this is the uh, part where it's not really telling me what I'm supposed to do. So we're going to try this. Whoops. Alright, it's not letting me go in here. I thought that would let me go in there, but I guess not. So right now we've got, uh, we want to make, <sighs> oh, okay, I think, um, yeah, no, we want to make sure that, we want to make that blue, uh, barrier crop, we want the, that blue barrier to cover the laser so that the laser cannot um, shoot over there anymore. So um, this is going to have to be like trial by error kind of thing. Oh wow, so I just stepped on it. But... Okay, so all I had to do was step on it. Okay. Alright, so I guess now we just have to walk all the way back. Done with school? Um, that's good. Hi, I'm Shadow Trooper. Hi, everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. Yeah, I mean, this is a super laid-back series, so, you know, people just kind of hang out and, and watch a lot of... Sometimes people chat, but, um, I mean, there's... Not like a lot of intense music or anything going on, so. It's just like one of those chill things. Alright, so now let's see what's actually um, over here. Yeah, I really do like how the game looks and um, it's very pretty and I think that's why I, I kind of like playing it. Alright, so finally... Okay, so we can finally move this. Whoop, we can't. I'm just gonna keep moving it off the edge. Later Gator. Hi, Shadow Trooper. Hi, everyone. Alright, so our dragon um, is down there. So there's one ball that's smashed on here. There's another one that's not smashed. Okay. Alright, let's see if I can make it over this um, jump area. Oh, I barely made it. I'm 
This looks like kind of like a Chinese inspired bridge with the little tops over here. So I guess we'll see what happens. I don't know if we have to go back down and check on our dragon friend. Oh, there he is. He somehow escaped. So this is where we're feeding our dragon. Hi Garth, hi Daffy, hello everyone. Let's try giving him some light orbs. Oh. Hug time! So let's go see if we can find more uh, things for a dragon to eat. Okay, the dragon bobs its head up and down. A pretty, uh, pretty happy dragon there. So the dragon was encased by all those crystals. So that wasn't very, very cool. Hello, Daffy. Hi, everyone. Hope you guys are having a nice morning. Oh. Feels like I have to feed the dragon more every time. Every time he kind of... See, he's not completely red. He's supposed to be completely red. Um, I don't know what's in that pot over there. Alright, so I'm still looking for all the light orbs that our friend needs. our scarf he's fully fed and uh, we got our scarf back okay so I guess we are going to go back up the hill where we got that last light orb and just keep going with that. I don't really think I can go over here, but they do have a lot of weird details. Like here's a, here's some kind of weird um, writing over here. Yeah, I can't really... Oh. Okay, so since I have my dragon form back... Oh no, I fell down! Since I have my dragon form back, I have my um, wings. Oh! So, I think I don't... I don't think we can really go back this way. This might have been just where we got our dragon. So now that we have our wings, maybe we could use this, uh, go back where we came and use this to um, get to a few places we couldn't get before. Alright, so this is where the dragon fell down. Um, okay. 
There's our, um, so it looks like you see some ruins back there. Maybe we can get up there at some point. Yep, thanks for the 24 likes. Really appreciate that, guys and gals. Um, let's shoot for 30 likes next. Thanks, everyone. Okay, so... There's one of those uh, creepy statues that we saw before. And there's where a dragon um, thing was smashed. So we're basically looking for a place that we can go that we haven't been to yet. So I think we have not been this direction, so that's where I'm going to go. You guys like how M Mario Wonders looks? That's cool. Yeah, for someone like me, I'm used to more simple Mario games, but I'm glad you guys enjoy the game. That's really cool. This is actually where we came in. So it took me a while to actually figure out the laser puzzle. But now I just have to figure out where we're supposed to go next. So the game isn't very clear on where I'm supposed to go. I would have assumed I would have gone up the hill where I found my dragon, but it didn't give me that option. Oh, I do have one idea where I can go, actually. Um, I think I might try going through here again and seeing if I can go further that way. So we'll try to open that uh, door. Oh, you know where we can go? We can actually go over here. I just realized we do have a place we can go. Uh, there is a step over here that we weren't able to go on last time. So this is probably where we go next. There we go. So now we can finally get through this door. stole the soul from that person. Oopsies. Uh, sorry about that. And they're, they're making, they've got little beds there. This kind of reminds me of like a little gnome house or a Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs or something. Little, little people of the forest. 
Um, looks like they have a little a wood burning stove and a fireplace here. And I don't, I don't know if my character is the good guy or the bad guy, but I keep kind of stealing people's souls, so I don't really know what I'm doing here. No, it wasn't me. It was not a character. Uh, it was, yeah. It could have been me humming. That kind of does sound like me a little bit. <laughs> well, okay. So we're going to go through this weird windy tunnel. All right, so here's the next picture. So it looks like some blue person fell into like a portal or, or into the sky. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there, but it looks like they disappeared into like a ring in the sky. That's kind of disturbing. Okay. And we're back at this area again for some reason. So this comes out. So we've actually been here before, I think. Or we've been to a place similar to this at least. I believe we have been here. Okay. Yeah, I, I remember being here because I remember jumping through this tree a lot. Whoop. I was like, why is this tree here? There we go. I jumped through it again. Um, so I can either go up here or I could go um, that way. I guess I'll try to go into the building. We'll see what happens. Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if we think I think I went in here last time. Um, what is the game about? It's just about puzzles. I don't know. I have to discover what it's about. It has I don't really understand it. It's about a little person that is blue and the scarf is his dragon friend. And other than that, I don't really know anything about what the game is really about. <laughs> Oh, that's right. So we were actually originally in this area and um, we talked to some green people that were here, a little green uh, men, and uh, they were afraid of us. So we're kind of opening the different doors of this, this area and every time um, we talk to these green people, we keep like stealing their souls. So I'm starting to wonder if... I'm starting to wonder if my character is a good guy or a bad guy at this point. Um, so we did get our dragon friend back. Um, who is a scarf. The game is all about exploring and just... It doesn't really explain a lot. Like, there's not really any like dialogue or anything. It's just this little guy humming and running around. Um, so, yeah. And it's very, it's a very peaceful game. It doesn't get too scary. I mean, I do seem to be taking people's souls with my dragon scar. But, I mean, it's not really putting me in danger. Just them, huh? I don't know. So. I think, I mean, if I would take a guess at what this game is about, I would say it would be this person this blue person recovering their memories because they keep finding memories everywhere they go um, of their past. Like they have a memory of them being like a child and playing with their family and they have different pictures on the wall. So I feel like it's recovering their memories or something. Let's see, so I can't really go this way. Okay. 
Alright, have a good day, um, Savage Boy. Yep, and if you guys are wondering, this game is only, um, it's only $10 if you get it on either, uh, you can get it on, uh, on the PlayStation or on, um, um, Xbox, and it's only $10, so I think it's a pretty good uh, deal. I like it. Okay, let's see. Whoops. I was supposed to be able to catch that. So how are you guys doing today? Anyone uh, doing anything exciting this morning or having a good Friday? Oh, there's a little animal there. So I'm just going to try going a, a couple different directions. We'll see. Alright, we'll see if we can go this way. Oh no, I fell down again. Darn it. Okay. I kind of slipped off the edge there. Cute little lizard over there. Um, Zelda is just like right next to me hanging out. Um, she's, I don't know, she's got a lot of makeshift cat perch areas right now. So I was thinking about trying to go over to that little, like, uh, section of a pillar, but I don't really think I'm gonna make it there. So I'm gonna just try to go across. Looks like we finally made it to the end of this. So it says saving, so that means this is where we were supposed to be. Alright, so it looks like we found a new um, section. Alright, so I guess I can actually, I thought maybe if I fell down I would ruin all the progress I made, but I guess I can just go up on that ramp there. Alright, so I thought there was a button to push, but I guess it wasn't, so... Well, at least we tried it out. So there are a lot of things like that in the game where it's like, oh, am I supposed to, it looks like you're supposed to go to a certain place and you just have to try it out. Um, all right, so I guess we'll just keep going forward. Yep, so in this game, your uh, scarf is actually a, a dragon that is in the shape of a scarf around your neck. dragon for all of those red powers that you see like gliding, a double jump, um, hang hanging onto hooks so that you can jump further. You need all of those uh, powers from your dragon. You can't really do any of the powers on your own.
Oh, it won't let me go over there yet. Whoops. Yeah, sometimes the controls are a little bit, um, like, wonky, I guess. For this section, you really want to make sure you're facing the right way to do this. Um, if you end up, uh, if you end up going towards those hooks from the wrong direction, it can swing you the wrong way, and you can end up in the water. It, the controls are—I don't know how to explain it—but especially with those hook things. Like, you have to be extremely precise, like, where where you're going. Otherwise, the, the game won't pick it up. So, I mean, you can kind of tell, like, most of this you can't really tell it's an indie game, but... Actually, no, it's not, not an indie game. I believe this is actually made by THQ, so... Which, I really do like THQ. Um, so that, I mean... Now I just said something kind of bad about it, but... Um, I would say this is my only gripe about the game is those hook things, uh, it's kind of frustrating. So if they make a second one of these games, um, that would be great if they could fix that so it's not as, like, so it, so it can recognize it better a little bit. Alright, so I think we're gonna need to use our glide ability here. Hey, I'm a little concerned, but... Alright, looks like you can glide for quite some time, so that's good. And I just like all the, uh, just... Like, this game kind of looks like a painting. I really like how it looks. Just, you know, it's very pretty. Uh, that looks like a painting you would have in your house. A little person in the forest with, like, red flowers. It's very... The whole game is very, like, visually, um, very pretty. So, there's some more of our little statues of people. Kind of feels like these are statues of his pe- like, his kind. Like, it kind of feels like these are ancient statues of people from his, uh, people. His race of blue people or something. I don't know. I guess the game is just having you guess what, you know, the story is because it doesn't, it's not completely clear of what's happening. I guess that's what it, why it's an adventure. You're, you're figuring it out as you go along. Oh wow, look at this. Building has been completely, like, it's smashed between two mountains or pulled apart between two mountains. Like there was some kind of earthquake or something. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I guess we could glide. Should we glide here? This is usually where they want us to glide. I guess we're just gonna glide. All right, let's go for it. This reminds you of Autumn Heights from DKCTF. Awesome Thunder Dragon, very cool. All right, looks like they want us to glide through this whole thing. We made it! Unbelievable! Yeah, it's like, I would say it's almost visually stunning. It's very pretty. Like, the game is very pretty. So if you like relaxing and... Like, I'm not very good at figuring out puzzles at games and I'm able to figure it out, so... You know, if I can do it, then anyone can, really. There goes my dragon friend again. So now I have to find him. It's like I'm always playing hide and go seek with this dragon. He is always like leaving me here. It's like he's playing a game with me. Um, 
And he does kind of play hide and go seek at the beginning of the game. Like, he's, like, hiding behind things. So maybe that's the idea of the whole game. Like, maybe that's... Maybe they were trying to say... That. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Okay. I can walk through here. Okay, so I just can't fall in deep water. But I can walk in here. Yep, so, yeah, I'm just trying to, um, when I have a chance, play a, a stream in the morning to just get a few more views on the channel and stuff like that. Oh, look at these little, uh, bunnies. They're so cute. Yes, a new member! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, thank you, Naomi! Wow, five gifted memberships! Unbelievable! Yes, a new oh, member. So <laughs> yes, a new member. Yes, a new member. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Wow, thank you, Neil. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your generosity, Naomi. Uh, Naomi says you're welcome, everyone. Yeah, feel free to say thank you to Naomi um, if you got a gifted membership from her. That was very kind of you, Naomi. Thank you so much. And thank you for helping uh, greatly uh, support the channel to help us keep uh, videos on here. Thank you. Thank you so much, Naomi. Bless your kind heart. God bless you, Naomi. Thank you. Gifted member hype. That's right, Ben. Yup. So there's my dragon trolling me. This, this dragon is completely trolling me at this point. Okay. Um, yep, thank you so much, Naomi. That was so kind of you. Thank you. So maybe I have to actually um, feed him and an apple? Okay, so this is kind of cute. You can pet the dragon. Oh, and he became my scarf again. So I didn't really have to feed him that time. I guess he was just trolling me. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh my goodness. So... Oh, it only did one of them. So I just, I only got one shot to do that. Okay. Oh, wow. And then you have like this. This like glyph written into the wall. Oh, the, um, and so you have all these symbols of this person's like history. There is a per a blue person. Or no, that's a lizard. Oh, this isn't a glyph. This is an actual animal. Okay. I thought that was like, why is this glyph popping out of the wall? It's like, this is an animal. This is a lizard. Okay, that's a lizard just crawling on the wall. But here is the pictures of, like, whatever the ancient people were writing on there. All right. Oh, thank you. Oh, uh, that's very sweet. BJ Williams says more likes for Amber. That's very sweet. Okay. All right. So it says it's saving. There's a little bunny. So we've got like the animals that are around here are like bunnies, um, lizards. We, I've seen little blue scorpions for some reason. Uh, so all kinds of Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, that's a tree branch. I thought that was an animal or something. So you can see there's like ancient buildings under the water, like kind of like Atlantis or something. Um, so. 
hopefully my glider takes me across the water because my character can't really swim very much. Yeah, bless your heart, Naomi. Thank you so much for your uh, kindness. I appreciate that so much. Thank you. I um, hope you're having a great day, Naomi, and everyone in the chat. I hope you guys are having a nice uh, morning today. And uh, today we're going to be doing two Ninja Turtles episodes and at least, I, I believe it's two. Um, I talked to Luke when he was half asleep and he said he thinks there'll be two. Uh, and then um, also one episode of, at least one stream of doing Mewtwo uh, raids um, in Pokemon. And then you'll also have a noon video today that's going to go up. So... And today, I'm kind of, like, it's kind of weird. I don't like working at night because I like to get my job done during the morning. Then I can relax. That doesn't usually happen for me um, with doing YouTube because most people are available at night to watch. So, I kind of like doing at least something in the morning. Um, and then I kind of like, I kind of like psych myself out. I tell myself, okay, your job is done. Like you already streamed and now you can relax. So it's like, I kind of like train myself to do work, then relax. So that's kind of why sometimes I might stream in the morning and then either I can relax or I can, um, oh no, these birds are trying to hurt me again. Last time these birds were really angry at me. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, they are really ferocious. So I think what we need is, last time we got a scary mask to um, get rid of them, so to scare them off. So we'll probably do that this time. So today I'm hoping I can make uh, tomato soup. I got, a, I got some tomatoes, probably too many, from the grocery store. I just got a bunch of them. And I saw some tomato soup recipes where you just basically add like an uh, like an onion and it, some people add bell pepper but mainly just tomatoes and garlic and a little bit of onion and then some broth and it's like pretty good tomato soup they usually roast it in the oven so i'm gonna try doing that we're gonna i'm gonna try roast tomato soup uh today because i'm just i don't know i need something simple to make so i took an apple out of this person okay that's interesting I think that's what I like about this game is it's like another world to explore. I don't really know. I don't really. I think that's what I like about the game is I don't know anything about it. It's just like completely, um, you know, completely new. So I'm going to put that apple there until I figure out what to do with it because I don't really know what to do with the apple. Alright, so we've seen this kind of thing before, uh, where I can jump on this. Alright, so it looks like this is going to be kind of a complex uh, puzzle, I feel like. Oh, maybe I can blow some of the birds away. Oh, I don't know. So I'm going to have to figure out what, how I'm going to get rid of those birds because I need that next, I need that um, thread that they had. Oh, lo and behold, here we go. Seek and ye shall find. Here is the mask. There's my scary mask. So now I'm wearing a scary mask, which is supposed to be, like, it's like I'm the uh, Majora's Mask character. I have kind of a creepy mask on. It's not really that creepy, but, and it's supposed to scare the, uh, the birds away, I think. So we'll see if they get scared. I don't really know if they will, but we'll, we'll see. I hope they do because I kind of need that, uh, it's like a magic light string that they have. I guess you can kind of call this, like, the different areas of the game, I kind of named them myself. Like the last area I named Sparkling Waters, um, I kind of named it. 
All right, so we're gonna use our scary powers. Oh, wow. They got, there's our um, string of light. They took it. All right, so I'm actually gonna try to scare them off with the, with the air. See if that works. So that, so, I don't know, that just randomly worked, so that was good. We got one little gold medallion on our scarf. Still trying to figure out what that really does. Alright, so the, the red stuff over there is something that means I have to unlock that. Uh, with like a, usually a crystal or something. Well, now that I know a lot, I can play this game a lot better. I've, I've gone through a lot of it. I kind of wish I could start over because uh, I made a lot of mistakes starting out. All right, so we found a crystal just lying here, so I'm just gonna keep, um, I can't really jump when I have this crystal in my hand, so hopefully I'll find a place where I can put this without having to jump. Thank you guys for the 40 likes. Really appreciate that, everyone. Thank you. Oh, looks like somebody ate an apple. There's an apple core there. And another little... Uh-oh, the bunnies. Oh my gosh! There's like an army of bunnies. They won't let me get it. Oh wow, the, the animals will not let me get this. Alright, so let's see if I can use my scary powers. Nope, they're not scared at all of this mask. Wow. Okay, maybe the... I think... Wow, I think I know what rabbits want. They don't want to be scared. They need... I'm literally... Okay, I think I know what rabbits want. As you can see... This is a clue. They've got apple cores around. So we're gonna have to find as many apples as we can and try to get the bunnies to eat them, I think. So I'm gonna have to go back where I was and try to find apples. I don't see any apples here. So that's, that's my guess. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need to find apples. So we had a lot of apples before um, in another area, so I might have to bring the apples this way. Oh wow, look at this. There's another thing. There's another light stream. And there's the birds. Oh, come on. They took it again. Are you kidding me? They took it. They took my little light string again. Where did they put it? Okay, here we go. So I think we're gonna have to blow them away. Not in a not in a not in a violent way, but like I'm literally gonna have to blow air at them so that they leave. Have anyone have a uh, chocolate chip pancakes? Uh, yeah, I like chocolate chip pancakes, uh, Mustafa. They're really good. Alright, so we got a second little thing of light, and at the same time, there's where I put my apple from before. 
So I'm going to try to bring the apple all the way back where I was. I don't remember where the, the bunny rabbits were. So, yeah, there's a lot, a lot of backtracking in this game. A lot of backtracking going on. I think I can just bring my apple this way, but I'm not sure. Oh, wow, there's something. Oh, that's a scorpion. Okay. Okay, I cannot bring the apple over there. Okay, so I guess we'll just try to go this way. There's another thing that has apples. Okay, that's not letting me. It's not letting me go there. I have to find a way that I can actually bring the apples around. Because I actually don't know how to, how to do that. Right, there's something important. So maybe I can't really do this right now. Maybe this will not allow me to do it right now. Because I really can't jump or anything with this apple in my hand. So these are like apple dispensers. We've got tons of apples here. So it looks like they have endless apples come out of them. It's like a Pez dispenser but with apples. So... Yeah, so we have got a lot of apples here. Um, it's just a matter of getting the apple to the bunnies. Which I don't really know how to do that right now, but maybe we'll move. I think I'm going to move on and try something else. Because um, I don't really know how I'm going to get... I don't really know how I'm going to do that right now. Because I, I cannot actually jump. I cannot... Uh, it cannot jump. Oh, okay, so we can get the apples to these bunnies. Alright, so let's try it. We're gonna try it out, it out first with these rabbits. They're really close by. Apple vending machine. That's right, Sharon. Yep. <laughs> oh, wow. Here's a cool, um, here's a well down here. Oh, it's all covered up. It used to be a well, I guess. Well, oh, well. All right, so we got our first apple. Let's bring it down here for the, the bunny rabbits. Let's see if this works for them. Okay. Oh wow, I only needed one and I was able to get through there. So you just need one apple for all the bunnies. Okay. Here I thought I needed a lot more. And now we've got several, we've got like three little gold marks on our scarf, which I still don't know what that means. Here I am walking around I'm looking like Majora's Mask, a blue person. Okay, so I just transferred the gold from my scarf onto the onto this pedestal. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, so we really do need to find um, an apple. So let's... So we've got... Those are the bunnies right there. I'm just going to keep walking back until I find a way to grab... We just have to grab one apple. So theoretically, I could drop an apple over here. Like, I could drop it or something and see if we can find one. Oh, here's a lever. Let's see if we pull this. What will it do? I wouldn't recommend this in real life, pulling a random lever without knowing what it does. literally don't know what that did. Oh, there we go. Is that like the apple apple train? It's like some kind of a uh... So it looks like you might be able to hop down here, I don't know, like with an apple and then like go all the way over there, I don't really know. Well, I'll figure it out later, we're just gonna, uh... Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay, so here's another Apple uh, vending machine. Got a bunch of them over here. So we've got lots of extra apples. That's just to help myself remember. Like, here's where you get apples, Amber. Don't forget. Get them from this weird owl's stomach. Okay? That's not creepy at all. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh... I can't really get up here with this apple, though. Yeah, this is not letting me get up here. This is not allowing me to get up here, so... Well, we have all those apples. This is supposed to make a bridge over to there. Okay, and this... Oh, it starts right here. Okay. Okay. So if we can get, theoretically, we can get the apple, a bridge to come here and then bring the apples over this bridge and then we bring the apple over there and then the apple is supposed to be deposited. I think you can just put the apple on here and then put the push the lever. But how do we get, how do we actually make the bridge so we can walk across it? We need, we need something, we need something. We need to bring an object here and put it on here so the bridge stays. 
We've got to have some kind of object with us. Oh my gosh, this is, yeah, this is getting a little bit complex. Um, so three apple cores. So basically the bunnies are like, they really like apples a lot. Right, that's just a bug. Okay. So we really need to find some kind of object that we can uh, put on that on that um, place. Oh, I just do not know uh, what we're supposed to use. If we can find like a pot or something or no. We're just gonna explore, I guess. I guess that's why they made this uh, game very pretty to look at, is it's a lot of exploring around. And I don't think we can really jump when we have the apple in our hands. So I'm just kind of stumped. Okay. All right, so I'm going to do the best I can. We're going to go back where we came and... I guess I would call this the, the apple puzzle. I'm just dragging this apple around. You like pumpkin, uh, princess on me? That's awesome. All right, so I've got this apple in my hand. I'm bringing it up here. I don't see any way that I can actually bring it across. I can't jump with this. feeling about this. This does not look like it's going to be easy. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, okay, looks like... Okay, this looks like it might be easier than I thought. I think this might supposed to be going the goal. Let's see if we can get a goal. Oops. Achievement unlocked! Goal! Okay, that was an achievement, but it didn't do anything. Darn it. Oh, man, that didn't do anything at all. Oh, my God. 
Mensch. I mean, the only thing I can think of is bringing the apple over here, but it's not allowing me to. The only thing I could think of is bringing it this way. I could. If I brought that ball, maybe I could walk over the ball. I don't know. Maybe I could put the ball... I wish there was a way I could put, like, um, something here where I could walk over this area. Oh, okay, I died. I mean, the only thing I can think of is putting the ball over there. Because it's... Or I could get the ball to go here and then I could somehow go up the cliff. The only other thing I can imagine is if there's an apple dispenser over here, which I don't see one. Hello, rabbit. Alright, so the only place I haven't gone is over here. Um, I don't think I've gone this way, so we're gonna just check. See what's going on over here, because I have not gone- I have not gone here yet. Okay, looks like this is a picture of... Alright, so there's three little green people playing. A person on a... Uh, playing with the like, toys with blocks and then somebody on a seesaw or a uh, not seesaw um, one of those horse things a rocking horse that's what it's called Yeah, but there's no way to actually, uh, like the only way is to go here and you can't really go here if you have an apple in your hand, you can't do that. So, the only thing I can think of is, um, if we got that to work up there, maybe there's an apple dispenser up there, but... don't know. So, yeah, I'm a little bit stumped right now. As you guys can see, I'm a little bit stumped. Oh. Well, the next thing we can do is actually go under the water and see if there's anything we can do down here. Um, this is our magical ball that keeps the water from going over our heads. So maybe we'll try this and then maybe um, that will help us to figure out the apple puzzle.
I didn't really even notice this orb here. So my character actually um, does drown if I'm stuck in the water. Okay, so it looks like the apples are, there's apples over here. Okay, so that's where the apples are. Oh. That is a pyramid or, oh, this is birds. Okay. Birds over there, I guess. Nothing over that way, unless, oh, not really anything. And people over this way. People. Okay. All right. So this looks like the puzzle that we need to solve. So that is um, apples. So I'm guessing that would be the rabbit. Cause, oh wait, yeah, rabbits really like the apples. Okay, and the birds are over there. And these are the people. Okay, those are the people. These are the birds. This is how it's supposed to go.
Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what this game wants me to do, to be completely honest. I would assume I would have made it. I would assume this would be the answer to the game. Usually it like locks into place or something, but... Um, I could probably go look. This would be a time where I'd probably look it up because it's like, oh, uh, I don't really know what this game wants me to do. Like, that would be my solution to this. Oh, okay. Maybe, Well, I may have to look this up really quick because I don't know why it's not doing it. Wow, so I can actually go down here. That's interesting. I kind of messed up. I kind of messed up. Oh no. Come on. Let me back up. Oh no. I kind of messed up. I'm probably going to drown now. Oh no. I'm going to drown. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm going to drown. It's not even letting me go this way. Oh no. No. Well, I guess there's no way to go but down at this point. Guess we're going down because uh, I have no other choice. Kind of messed up there. <laughs> All right, maybe I maybe that wasn't a mess up. So bunnies, people, and uh, birds. So maybe I didn't mess up. Ugh, maybe that's how it's supposed to be. Okay, now I just have to figure out how I got down here. Okay. Alright, so I I thought I messed up, but I guess I did this correctly. Um Oh I think I know what I'm supposed to do now. Okay, so the bird thing probably goes over here. Here's one for the bunny rabbits. And now we do one for the children. These are the human er yeah. There's like green and blue blue people. There's blue people and green people. Okay.
So I solved that puzzle without knowing why I solved it. Actually, I didn't think I would be able to solve it. Wow, I really thought I was going to have to look that up, but I guess I didn't, so... Yeah, so, like I said, this game is all about wandering around and trying to figure it out, like... Okay, obviously the kids were playing with a rocking horse, and... So... So we solved this, but what do we actually do? Do I take this with me now? Or do I just put this back? It doesn't really look like I can... It doesn't look like I can do much with this... With that there, because, um... I don't think I can do much with that. Well, maybe you can go... Maybe we can go down. No? Probably not. No. Like, I thought I could, but I guess not. No. Alright, so we're gonna have to take... So I guess this puzzle was solved. The answer to this puzzle was getting that little light string. So we'll just take the orb with us. Thanks. Uh, this was kind of a cool place. I wish I could keep it there, but... Looks like that usefulness of that puzzle is done. Oh, one good thing is we have one more little light orb on our scarf. So, which is the name of the game, scarf. So, um, we went underwater to get to this area. Now we're back on the surface. I'm just going to put the little orb back here where it will be safe. That's where we found it. Okay. Alright, now, so one good thing we have is we have one more medallion. So, um, what I can do is just go uh, over there where that bridge is. It's, there's a bridge that's almost complete. Some stairs. And if I, if I add my little medallion from my scarf uh, to the bridge, hopefully it will give me some stairs and I'm going to hope, I'm going to cross my fingers and hope uh, that we can find um, an apple dispenser at the top of those stairs so we can uh, take care of the bunny problem. Alright, so that was a very, very long puzzle to uh, to figure that out. So anytime you see a little orb, um, like spinning orb, you know that you're going to need to go underwater for that. That's the main reason that those orbs are there. Mm, favorite dessert is strawberry pie. Yum, Princess Emmy. Oh, wow. So we still don't have enough to make these stairs. Darn it. So now, like, we did that whole elaborate puzzle, but this stupid rabbit puzzle is still, uh, still bothering me, at least. Um, Alright, so I feel like we have to do something with this, with this ball. So... All right, thank you, Tyler and uh, Nia. Really appreciate that. Mm. 
Thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate that so much. Thank you. Uh, really, uh, thanks. Hope you're having a great day, Tyler and Nia. Thank you so much. So, Alright, so we used this ball to, uh, we used it to get into the goal. We got it from over there. There might be a way we can move this ball up, up here. Oops. And I still have my little mask on, my little scary mask. Oh my goodness. Okay. Come on, get up there. No, no, don't go down the hill, get up. Okay. All right, that's not gonna work. Um. Um. Well, no, probably won't. Alright, we're back to our stupid apple mm -hmm. problem. Which honestly is the most annoying quest of this entire game. Haha. <laughs> um, so I was able to solve a very elaborate problem, but I literally cannot figure out how to get this apple over here. Um, okay. All we need is. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! I, I'm alive. I lived. Okay. Well. Ah, oh, well, I did think of a weird idea just now because we just were using that orb. Maybe we can bring it all the way over here and use it. Okay, so let's go back and get our- oh, I don't see how we're gonna do that, though. It won't go up the stairs. Um... Well, I guess we'll give it a whirl. We'll see what happens. Nope, nope, it's not letting me go up here. It will not allow me to go up any further. No. Oh, that, that idea is shot. Well, I had an interesting idea there. Oh my gosh. Okay. Mm. 
Alright, so this is our Pez dispenser. We know we need that. This is where the bridge comes out. There's our vending machine. That's where the bridge is broken. Um, how I was able to get an apple up here, I do not know. So there must have been another apple Pez dispenser over here. Somewhere. Like, if there was an apple, if there was an apple vending machine right here, this game, this would be very easy because I could just bring it down there and it would be super easy. Be no reason to have any of this nonsense happening. Um, but it's not really, yeah, it's really not the case. Okay. So the only uh, apple vending machine that that can remotely help us is this one over here. I don't believe I can actually use my scarf while holding the apple, but let's check it out and see if it's possible. Okay. Oh my- well, no, I can't. It won't allow me to do it. It won't let me do that. Well, maybe if I just feed more apples to these bunnies, maybe they'll, like, Maybe they'll appreciate me and they'll help me out. They're not doing anything. They're not they don't even seem to care. I'm putting the apple right next to them. They don't care at all. And then last time they went for it like crazy. Yeah, I don't know what the bunnies really want. Like, what is their motivation? Um... Alright, so as Sherlock Holmes says, when all other when all other possibilities are ruled out, the end result, no matter how implausible, must be the must be the truth. So this is what we need to do. We have this apple. We got it from that stupid apple Pez dispenser over there. Um, like, there's no way we can get it across here. We need to, like, get it to a bunny or... Like, this is not, this is not working out. Like, it's not letting me do this. I was thinking if I got that um, steel ball to come up here, I could do this. Let's see if I can like lift this apple from here. It's not letting me. Okay, so the only other option is, since that won't allow me to do that, it won't allow me to throw the apple. I have to put an object 
yeah. over there to get the bridge to come across. Right, maybe I'm... This is where I need... That is where the bridge is going to come across. Alright. So I need some kind of object to... I need an object to set on that. So... Oh! You know what? Maybe we could just use this crystal. Maybe I'm thinking about this too hard. Okay. So we could actually probably use this crystal to set on that. Oh, okay. Probably wasn't thinking about this clearly. Alright, there we go. So now the bridge is across. Now we're cooking with gas. Alright, so now we can bring the apple across. Alright, so I was thinking about this way too hard. I, I should have just put the crystal on there to begin with. I don't know what I was thinking. Alright, so we, we finally figured it out. Thanks for being patient, everyone. Okay, so now we can just bring this apple across. And we can put the apple over here. And now we can just pull this lever. Literally, that was more comp. I was making it a lot more complicated than it was. Oh, frustration. I don't know if I have to go all the way over there to get it. So, did the apple fall into the ocean? Because if it did, I guess that means that next time I have to, like, go really fast over here. Okay. Right, okay right. Hopefully it didn't fall into the ocean. Okay. Oh! oh wait, there it is. Okay, it's it's there. Okay, we just have to we can do this. We can do this. Okay, the apple is there. But it's in the water. I can't go in the water because I'll drown. So I have to get the crystal now and put it um, over here. Okay. Alright. Okay, so now we're going to put the crystal in here. Oh, wow. So this is bad. So actually, the crystal, that's not going to work because now the rock is, is basically... So... Alright, so we have to do that again because um, we have to do that as it's going over. We have to do that as it's doing it. So we have to do this quickly as it's going. Okay. Alright, let's try this again. Okay, so we've got to do the apple and then as soon as we push the lever, we've got to somehow get the crystal over where it needs to go. Okay. Okay, the apple is there, and now we've got to get, we've got to go, we've got to go. Get the, get the crystal. Okay, we've got to race the apple over there. 
gotta race it. We gotta race, 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 race. All right, let's see if it worked. Yay, our apple! Wow, that was... That was a bit frustrating. All this just to get a bunch of bunnies to eat this. with your stupid apple. Wow, that was so frustrating. Puzzle complete. That's right, Golden and Cho. Wow, that was super frustrating. Finally, the the bunny rabbits have their their apple. They're literally all over one apple. And if you try to give them a second one, they're just like, no, I don't want a second one. I wanted the first one you gave me. Huh? All right, so finally we have that last, uh, because of our puzzle, we got that last little medallion on our, or a little symbol on our scarf. So now we can press X and hopefully it will unlock the next area. Yep, and thanks for the 57 likes, guys and gals. Really appreciate that, everyone. Um, it really helps out tremendously. Thank you, everyone. All right. So it looks like we unlocked a new area and there is a little person playing with an orb of light, a little blue person. There is a blue person somehow getting the same armbands as I have, like their little arm, little red armbands. And they're using it to I think hurt the forest. I don't really know. All right, and here we go. We've got the red powers are hurting everything and the person's running away. So they did a good job of telling a story without actually having to use a lot of um, dialogue. Which, honestly, I feel like this game would be really easy to translate into other countries and stuff like that. Kind of like the Entitled Goose game where the, the goose was just attacking people or um, being mean to people. And just squawking a lot. <laughs> Alright, and... Our our dragon friend is playing hide and seek with us. He seems to be hiding from this place. Um, and I can't really... I don't know if I can walk across this. Okay, I can. Oh, I'm playing hide and seek with this person. I'm cheating. I'm looking where they went. <laughs> That's cute. So I'm playing hide and seek. Of course, they completely cheated by looking where they went. Oh. 
found you. Okay, now I have to find him again. Now I don't know where uh, to go. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, they do have sing songy voices. I'm pretty sure they're playing hide and go seek. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here it comes. Uh oh, I don't know where he went this time. Oh, that's right. I can't use that, uh, my scarf power. I forgot. Completely forgot. Oh, he's not in that log. I think I can- I could hear him laughing. I think he might be in here. There he is! I found you! Oh, that's cute. He clapped his hands like, good job! Oh, am I supposed to hide? Kind of cute, and then he says, Here I am. Oh, I have to hide. Oh, he found me! Now he's probably gonna hide.
Hide and seek in the bushes. That's right, Sharon. I'm kind of giving them a hint how to find me. All right, so I hid there. Oh, he doesn't want me near him. All right. Okay. All right, I'm gonna hide behind this log, I guess. Maybe he's not supposed to find me. Yeah, I don't understand him either, Shadow Trooper. He's just running around. Like, maybe he's not supposed to find me. Or maybe when he goes off... Alright, so maybe when he leaves, I'm supposed to try to... I think I'm gonna go to that one place that he told me not to go. Whoops. Alright, I'm gonna try to get him to come over here by the dragon so the dragon can eat him because I think my character is kind of mean. I don't know, because so far I've been taking people's souls a lot with my dragon powers. Okay.
Oh. <sighs> Whatever, dude. Wow. You know what? I don't know what I'm supposed to do during this time. I feel like your dra my dragon is supposed to eat you. Well, I'm gonna try to get my dragon to eat you because I'm a complete jerk. Dragons of Sharon. Yeah, so it is already 11.30, so yeah, that is a good point. So we are actually going to have a stream at 12, so, or a, a video. So I think this is a good place to stop. I guess we will, um, I will put the, uh, set the premiere up, guys and gals. So this guy is looking for me. I guess I'm going to look this up online and see if I'm supposed to have the dragon eat him or what, but. Alright guys and gals, um, thanks so much for watching uh, another episode of Scarf. I hope you guys have a good morning. And in about a half an hour to 45 minutes from now, you guys will see a, a video on the um, cool um, RPG that Luke and I are putting up at noon. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys. Um, we will see you guys um, for a video at noon and a stream at 345. Thanks for watching guys and gals. We'll see you guys in a half an hour. God bless. Happy gaming. See ya. Thanks for all the super chats and thanks for the gifted membership. Um, Naomi, uh, five gifted memberships and thank you for the uh, super chat, Tyler.